<laughs> Hello everyone, how are you all? Anovio. Anovio reports positive Phase 1B results for Anovio 4201 as an Ebola booster for RVSV Zebo. R -R -V -Bro. <laughs> I think I said that. Definitely didn't say that right. But, who cares? They produced great results. That's all that matters. Uh, in the trial, INO4201 was well tolerated and boosted humoral responses in 100%, 36 of 36 of treated participants. INO4201 was evaluated in a 46 participant randomized placebo controlled phase 1B trial to access its safety, tolerability, and immunogenicity. Genesity in healthy adults participants who previously received a single injection of Ervibo, a vaccine approved by the U.S. FDA for the prevention of disease caused by Zare Ebola virus in, in individuals 18 years of age and older. The participants were dosed with one milligram of INO4201 injected in term, interdi, in, <laughs> intradermally. <laughs> Followed by electro Porsche, the electric, the, this electro device Anovio uses. <laughs> uh, the trial was designed to test whether INO4201 can be used as a booster in healthy participants previously vaccinated with Ervibo. The trial was spearheaded by Global Urgent and Advanced Research and Development, uh, sponsored by Geneva University Hospitals and funded by the U.S. Um, DARPA. Dr. Angela Hutner, MD, infectious disease consultant, Geneva University Hospitals, and the lead investigator of the study said, INO4201 was well tolerated and all treated participants responded to the booster. These are encouraging results since our participants were initially vaccinated with Ervibo three to seven years ago. Hmm. We remain grateful to our participants for their critical role in the development of this vaccine candidate, which we hope will be a key player in future Ebola virus disease prevention. Dr. Gary Kobinger, microbiologist, Guard X, um, president and board member and director of the Galveston National Lab Laboratory at the University of Texas Medical Branch said, a long bio, yes. We are particularly pleased with INO 4201's boost effect on neutralizing teeters. <laughs> to our knowledge, this is one of the highest responses we have ever seen across multiple vac vaccine platforms. Indeed, our results showed that the neutralizing teeters were significantly higher in the, in the individuals who received the INO 4201 boost compared to the placebo, and the response was maintained even 24 weeks later. So I hope you got through me reading all that. <laughs> if you did, God bless you. Because um, that wasn't easy to listen to me read that. <laughs> but the main thing is INO4201 was 100% effective, uh, lasted long immunity, and um, with patients even though they got vaccinated like seven years ago. So. I'm very happy that yesterday I got back in an OVO. Very happy. Um, that's it. Tell me what you all think of an OVO. I'm very pleased. Uh, like I said in my previous video with the OVO, I think I did like a week ago or something. The price does not want to tank. <laughs> Even though they scrapped three vaccines, they're getting rid of workforce, they're doing all, you know. The price is not going into the penny range. It's staying in that 160. It's it's been staying in that range, just back and forth. You know, trading sideways in the 160 area for a long time. And institutions are not selling. Institutions still hold a high number of Inovio shares. So I'm very pleased with this announcement from Inovio, and I am just going to hold my shares because. I'm, I don't know. Let me just get out of here. All right. Have a beautiful day and let me know what you all think about Anovio. All right. Bye-bye, everybody.